is the Cron 4 Morning News. Coming up on the Cron 4 Morning News, we'll have uh, an interview with Ivan Gold to give us live, excuse me, legal tips on DUIs and what you could face if you happen to get pulled over for one of those. So joining us this morning is attorney Ivan Gold here to talk about the true costs of a DUI. Thank you for joining us. Yes, good Ivan. to be here. Ivan, I know they're doing stepped up enforcement of DUI. Yes. If you get pulled over, what are you facing? It's very expensive. It's at least an $1,800 fine, a six-month license suspension, and a level one DUI school. And there's a cost attached to the DUI school, plus two points on your driving record. And that's just for a first-time DUI. If you get a second one within 10 years, it's an 18-month driver's license suspension, level two DUI school. It goes on and on and on, and they're having sobriety checkpoints this weekend. So everybody must be careful because you may just drive into one and those officers put that light the CHP put the light into your car in your eyes if they sense your eyes are watery they smell alcohol out you go and the first question they ask have you had anything to drink and once you say oh officer I had one beer then they start asking you to count backwards they give you the field sobriety test back into the police car you go and down to the police station you go for another alcohol test you get arrested and they take you to jail speaking of arrested how long can you face time in jail for this or is it just the first time you get a well you know. usually they just release you after you stay one night and they can also impound your car but when you go to court they require sheriff's work alternative program you have to clean up the freeway for a couple of days it is a hard thing a DUI is a very stressful difficult situation and you run into one oh it's the first time I've learned my lesson but still Everybody, please don't drink and drive because if you do and you get caught, it's expensive, time consuming, stressful, and you lose your driving privileges. How many of the people that in your in your line of work yes. are repeat offenders? I mean, it's scary to get one, of course. But I've done two. hundreds of DUIs, and I would say 50 percent are repeat offenders. 50% are first time, 50% do it again. Within 10 years, it goes on your record. After 10 years, it's a first time DUI. But alcoholics, and those are a lot of DUI offenders, if you will, people who drink every day, eventually the odds catch up with them and they get caught. Some people, it's just a fluke. They just happen to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. Be careful, make sure your headlights are working, your, your, you have your driver's license with you, your proof of insurance. A lot of people get pulled over for unrelated traffic traffic things and sure enough the officer detects alcohol and the DUI test comes and that one major question everybody has to be ready for have you had anything to drink you can just tell the officer I really don't feel comfortable answering that question because once you say you've had a beer or two beers they test you and if your blood alcohol is above two beers because a beer is 0.2 and two beers is 0.4 if you're at 0.10 they know that you were not truthful with the officer and that can come back as an inconsistent statement in court please don't tell the officer you had one or two beers if you had more than that just say I don't feel comfortable answering that question but if you had just one beer can you say I've had just one beer an hour ago if that's the truth, and you know that's the truth, perhaps you can say that because you would be well below 0.08, which is the legal limit. That would just be 0.02. At that point, if you're completely sober, you can say, I had one beer. And if they test you, then you're only at 0.2. But remember, you could still get arrested for a DUI even if you're below 0.08, if you're swerving or, or you know, you're not driving safely. But generally, it's above 0.08. Okay, thank you so much, Attorney Ivan Gold, yes. to talk about how it is expensive and, of course, how... Be safe, everybody, please. Don't even drink and drive. Plenty of taxi cabs waiting to get your That's money. Right. right. And, of course, we do not support drinking and driving. We'll be right back in just a few minutes.